Hello all you boys and girls, it's Michael again from MTG and more and today we are going to take on the Aether Void Pendulum. It's a pretty nifty model, it's a pretty big model and I thought it was pretty imposing. So we're going to start with Incubi Darkus mixed with a 50-50% of white, otherwise it wouldn't show on the black. And from off that 50-50%, uh, the next step will be a 75-25% of white, and after that will be a 100% of white. That way you can get some really awesome flames, but you can do it with every color. But I advise you not to take the perfect white or the dead white, because I think it's, in my opinion, a little bit too white. See, there's a nice gradient from the axe to, uh, or the pendulum to the end of the flames, or whatever they are. Clearly a green shade again. That, yeah, that's a bottle. <laughs> if you've seen my other videos, you know how much I can yap about a not available sticker. So we're going to paint the whole model Quilly a green shade, or at least all the flames which gives it a really awesome, awesome, vibrant green color with the flames still beneath. And after that, strangely enough, when the hue is turned to green a little bit more, come back with a mix of 50-50% and do it all again. Yes. <laughs> it might sound stupid, but it actually looks pretty good when you do it like this. Or at least I think it's pretty good. Gunmetal for the pendulum itself. This is just blocking in the uh, silver because it's a pretty big one. It's still an easy model, by the way. That's just because the, uh, the, the, the plates which you have to paint are just so incredibly big. me doing here some pretty precise work. Fiddling an L. I don't like fiddly bits. That's why we're going to gnome oil to shade the whole pendulum itself. So all the silver parts will be shaded with gnome oil. Can't be more straightforward than this guys. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and put some more gunmetal on it for a dry brush. Back to the little bit brightness the gunmetal gives. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and uh, do everything which you like and think is okay with the video. Thank you for everything you're going to do. That's why we're going with Plata Silver. Plata Silver just shines it up a little bit more. Not everything in the Aether world needs to be rotten and everything. So off-white again and play the silver for a really nice white shine or a new shine to the axe or pendulum. Like I said, not everything in the Aether needs to be old, damaged and rusty. And when you cast something anew, it should be anew. There you go. This is it, guys. That's as easy as that. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. May the diet be forever in your favor. And on to the next video.